Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at how to apply object detection on images and videos uh, using CVLib with just a few lines of Python code. First, let's install the dependencies. We need CVLib and OpenCV Python. Let's import the necessary packages we will be using. We are importing CVLib and OpenCV. IM show functionality in OpenCV is a bit difficult to use in uh, Google Colab. So we are importing the one from Google Colab patches to provide the similar functionality. Let's download a sample image and video to test our object detection code. If we go to the file section, we can see that input image and video has been downloaded. Now let's open up the input image using the imread function in OpenCV. Now let's pass that image to the detect common object function in CVLib which will detect the common objects present in the image and will, will return the bounding box coordinates, labels and confidence scores. Label is the actual name of the object detected and confidence score tells us how confident the model is about the prediction. Under the good CVLib uses YOLO v4 model trained on COCO dataset which contains 80 different object categories which are commonly present in our world such as car, bicycle, person, dog etc. The complete list can be seen in this file YOLO v3 classes.txt in this link. So these are the complete 80 object categories. Now let's pass the image and the predicted values to the draw bbox function which we imported from CVLib. We can display the image using the IM show functionality. So the objects in the sample input image are detected and the boundary box is done. We can save the output image to disk using the imwrite functionality in OpenCV. If we refresh, we can see that output image has been saved here. We can also download this image. Object detection is as simple as that in CVLib. With just a few lines of code, we are able to detect the objects in an image. Now let's try detecting objects in a video. Let's open the video using the video capture function in OpenCV. And let's get width, height and FPS of the video. These details are needed to create the output video. Let's use the video writer function in OpenCV to create the output video. Here we are writing an output video named object detection cvlib.mp4 with the FPS width and height same as the input video. Video is essentially a sequence of frames. So we we'll loop through the frames one by one and apply object detection on each of the frames. We read a single frame at a time from the video and then we pass it to the detect common object function from CVLib. And then we pass the frame to draw bbox function which we imported from CVLib and the predicted values to draw the bounding box details on the output image. And then we are writing it 
to the output video using the writer functionality and this loop continues as long as there are frames present in the video when we reach the end of the video we break from this loop and we also have a count to display the progress uh, in our print statements we can see that we are processing the frame one by one and we are also printing the bounding box coordinates and the object names and also the confidence score associated with each object detected so typically a video consists of multiple frames generally one second of a video clip might have 30 frames which is the fps frames per second so a 10 second video clip might have 300 frames so we are looping through the frames one by one and applying the object detection here now we have finished processing all the frames in the video so our input video had 249 frames in total so now we can release the resources so the saved output video uh, can be seen in the file section here we can download the output video let's have a look at the output video so we can see that cars trucks has been detected in this short video clip from the traffic on a highway you can get this call up notebook using the link in the description and if you have any questions feel free to share them in the comments thank you for watching